Hi there, this is Zach Boswell. I've got a couple pen names you might know me from. Um, I've been playing these music videos for a while. I started them out for my children. Hi guys. The Angel Hearts and the Boswell. And I, uh, I don't know how many people see these things, so, or I have a rough estimate, but, uh, but that is not always right. Okay, so, um, I got a song, the first song I wrote, it's called A Life Soliloquy, it's on here on YouTube, on, uh, Finally Woven Silk, that's my handle. Finally Woven Silk is a translation, uh, in Japanese <laughs> of one of my daughter's names, and that's why I chose Finally Woven Silk for my handle on YouTube. I'm a linguist, and words and names mean a great deal to me on, on a typical basis. One of my favorite things is to tell people what their names mean at the convenience store or wherever it is, if I know it, you know. A lot, sometimes they know it, sometimes they are completely taken aback and they love it. They're like, wow, that guy just told me what my name means. <laughs> video like how I do it when my kids are here. You can hear some noise in the background. That's my son. He's a young man. He's a big boy. Say hi to Bruce. Wait. Oh, you can't see it. Say hi. Can you say it out loud? Hi. Oh, thank you. Alright, boys. Remember to be quiet like a mouse. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the end of the song, A Life Soliloquy. And it's called Semperasma. It's a Greek word. It's the end of an opus or an end of a uh, opera. That's what it's called, the Semperasma. All right, Bruce. Was it done by? And I always tailor it to my audience. So since you're gonna see this after I've recorded it, my audience right now, I got my wife listening in another room and uh, <coughs> everybody say hi to Kate. All right. And then Bruce down here, and he is going to be providing some background noise. You know? He's working on the drums. We got some bongos for him and maybe one day he'll be in one of these videos. Age appropriately. So. Okay, are you ready, Bruce? Ready to be quiet? You want to lay down?
Thank you, Bruce. That was great. All right, everybody. That is Simparasma in its entirety. Um, as it currently stands, I play it differently. And that might be an odd way of playing music for some of you, but um, this stream of consciousness style of playing, uh, I found when I was living in uh, Topanga, California, living on a Burning Man inspired community that had some great ethos, leave no trace, you just make a great impact on the environment, do what you can as one person in your life, you know. Just whatever, however you want to sum up that experience uh, for Burning Man folks. Uh, but, you know, I put in there that Christian ethic, you know, I, the lines from Hallelujah. You know, I'm a big fan of Jeff Buckley and Leonard Cohen ever since I first heard Jeff, Kurt Cobain talk about Leonard Cohen. So the, uh, and then House of the Rising Sun, that's a song that made uh, Bob Dylan famous. That's the one they recorded that made him stand out amongst the crowd in New York City. All right, see, this is my house. I got beautiful music coming from everywhere. I got kids. And, uh, you know, I have daughters in California and then my son here. So the, uh, just blessed, you know, to be able to have them around. <laughs> All right, Bruce, you know we're being recorded right now, right? Come over here. Don't go on the camera. You're too young. So let's just say, uh, I was just, I was just wanna, dizzy. You want to say we hope you enjoyed our song? Uh, yeah, I do enjoy your song, but I was using this as a guitar. Uh, you know what? That's right. That's, air guitar is a really solid art form in uh, some circles. <laughs> so, all right, buddy. Come here and say thank you for listening to our song. Thank you for listening to our song. Watch your head. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much. This is Zach Boswell, a.k.a. Azriel, Orion Angel Heart for my poetry. Uh, Prism is the other name I write under. That's for my Sufi, uh, uh, Su Zen Sunni, uh, inspired by Dune, you know, stuff like that. Uh, touching back on certain parts of me. And Azriel is just this complicated figure for uh, my family name with my daughters at Angel Heart. And as as real as I first knew, knew him when I uh, it, it uh, as real the concept and the angel um, uh, do I'm trying to pay tribute to is a is the one that comes the comfort at the end of life that tells you you know at the ultimate point of you know where am I going <laughs> and that it, it's going to be okay yeah. as real hand to God and uh, I hope that's not too grandiose a title it's a I've always loved the name, so it has a Z in it for Zach too. So. And then uh, Orion, of course, the Greek and the Hunter, you know, all of that. And, uh, and I have someone in my life named Artemis, so it kind of goes with that her, with her. So uh, this is a really long video. Hope you enjoyed it, and welcome to the show that is uh, my life. So thank you. Bye.